Take a listen to the C major chord. Now, how did that just make you feel? Bland, empty, maybe a tinge of joy, but let's add one chord before it. And all of a sudden that C major chord is transformed into a blanket of sunshine on a cold winter's day. Now we have a particular chord to thank for that and it is called the minor seven flat five chord. That one right there was a B minor seven flat five chord. So not only are we adding not one but two numbers after the root note of the chord, but two words also. Seems kind of confusing, but actually it's nice because it tells you exactly what you need to get to that chord. So let's talk about where that chord is found and how to use it. And let's do it in the key of C major because it's the easiest one, right? So again, the notes of C major are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then another C. So if we numbered them, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as we've talked about before, to make chords out of this, we take the first, third, and fifth note from wherever you're starting at. And that makes a triad chord. So from the first uh, note, which is a C, we'd get a C major chord. From the D, we get D minor. D, F, A. From the E, we get E minor. Four is F major. Five is G major. Six is A minor. And then back to C, right? Usually we skip that, it's called diminish, but we're gonna get to that in a second. Now, if we were to add a fourth note to that, the one, three, five, seven, then we're starting to get seven chords, which now we have a C major seven, a D minor seven, an E minor seven, an F major seven, a G dominant seven, an A minor seven. And then that brings us to the seven, the, yeah, the seventh seven chord, which is a B minor seven flat five. So you can kind of think of it as kind of a minor chord, but really it's a little bit different, right? So for this one, we have a B, we skip the C, we go to D, skip the E, F, skip the G, and go back to A, right? So if we were to arpeggiate that, starting on a B, which is the seventh fret of the low E string, we'd end up with a B, a minor third, a flat five, and a minor seven. Okay, so let's learn some chord voicings to go with that. Let's learn an E string one and an A string one. Now, the one that I usually see is the one rooted on the A string, right? So the B on the A string is the second fret. Let's take this. Your ring finger is gonna go to the third fret of the D string. Your middle finger is gonna go to the second fret of the G string. So, so far we have kind of like a D major shape, just up a couple strings, right? And then we're gonna add our pinky to the third fret of the B string. So there it is, just the middle four strings, right? Now, this is a movable shape. So this is B minor seven flat five, C minor seven flat five, C sharp minor seven flat five, so on and so forth, okay? Now let's do one on the E string too. So again, the B on the E string is the seventh fret. And what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna start by making an A minor chord, okay? A regular voicing A minor chord. And now we're gonna do it without using your middle finger, because we're gonna need this in a second, right? So, if we do it without our middle finger, your pointer finger is on 1B, your pinky is on 2G, and your ring finger is on 2D. And we're gonna scoot this all the way down until we're lined up with the seventh fret right here, okay? So, your middle finger is gonna take the root, which is that B we just talked about, and we're gonna skip the A string, so you can mute the A string and just not play it. And that is a B, minor seven flat five. So the A string voicing is here and the E string voicing is here. Now, when would you use a chord like this? One thing you can do is to use it to bridge two other chords. So this is the seventh chord in the scale. If we were doing something where we were going from the sixth chord to the first chord, that seventh one rests in between. So in the key of C, we've got an A minor to a C, right? We could use it in between A minor, B minor seven flat five C, right? So that really small part in between those two chords is adding tension, and then it's being released by the C chord. And since we're in the key of C, it's called resolution, right? Or resolving the chord. You have to be a real jerk to end a chord progression on the seven chord, right? So like if we're doing like C, G, A minor, and then you just end it there, it's like you're total jerk, right? Everybody wants you to just play the C, just get it over with, resolve it, it's done. These chords really do the dirty work of making other chords sound better, in my opinion, right? So this chord is kind of like a, an 
and ugly sound all by itself, but when used in combination with other chords, it makes them sound even better. So as we talked about before, this chord only occurs when it's rooted on the seventh note in a key. Now that doesn't mean you only have to use it in that one particular instance. In fact, one thing that's really cool is kind of replacing something else with it out of a key and then coming back to it to create even more tension. Now, uh, for an example, let's, let's go to uh, that first shape we did, right? Where we did the A minor, but we didn't use our middle finger and we rooted it. So right now I'm rooting it on an F sharp, the second fret of the E string, right? So knowing that this F sharp minor seven flat five chord is essentially 75% of A minor, let's work it into the key of C and try to create some tension, right? So if we start with the one chord C, then let's go right to the seven. Let's go right to the B minor seven flat five. And then go to the F sharp minor seven flat five, which is not in the key, but we're taking an F sharp from another key to add more of a color to it. So C, B, F sharp, You can really get some interesting chord progressions going when you're substituting minor seven flat five chords into it because it's taking the whole tonal center and kind of throwing it out of whack and then you can choose which chord to use to release it. So let's do all the seventh chords in the key of C and play them as what's called a chord scale where you kind of play the major scale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but do them with chords and we're doing seven chords specifically. So it's gonna be C major seven, D minor seven, E minor seven, F major seven, G dominant seven, A minor seven, B minor seven flat five, and then end on a C or a C major seven. So there you go, the minor seven flat five chord.